restaurants from across the state. It's made to eat in Michigan, and it happens this Tuesday in Clawson. Joining me now is one of the vendors who will be on hand, Marilyn Mack of Sweetbird Kitchen. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. I just learned about Sweetbird Kitchen today, and I thought maybe it was a restaurant, but I was so wrong. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. Tell us more about it. Well, Sweetbird Kitchen is pie crust crumbles, which yeah. is the best part of the pie. Yeah. Right. So okay. it's a topping and a snack, and it's very versatile. You can use it on or in just about anything. And what I love is when most people think of pie crust crumbles, they think of sweetness. They think it's all sweet, but right. you, you really can use it for savory dishes. Absolutely. My favorite bite is a lavender pie crust crumble with a little goat cheese, a little piece of salami, and a glass of wine. You can add it to a cheese board. You can do yes. so much with it, and I'm sure on your website you talk about all the different ways it yes. can be used. Yeah, I've got plenty of recipes. But you want to show us on the sweeter side, what you can do. You have a blueberry crumble here and you're gonna show yes. us how it's done. So let's do yeah. it. Excellent, we've got local uh, organic, fresh Michigan blueberries. We've got about two teaspoons of a good balsamic vinegar. This is a blackberry. Okay. A little bit of cinnamon, mm. some granulated sugar. Mm -hmm in about a third of a cup of flour. Okay. You're gonna mix that in. You're gonna zest one lemon. I won't take the time to do all of that, but you, <laughs> full you lemon, get though. the idea. But you're okay. gonna wanna zest a full lemon okay. into that. You're gonna mix it up so that everything is completely coated mm -hmm. and that will help when all the juices come out of these lovely blueberries. It's gonna help coat that and create a nice sauce. Okay. So for the topping, that's where the star comes in, okay. the lemon pie crust crumbles. Um, you're gonna have a uh, stick of chilled unsalted butter. Okay. You're gonna have a cup of flour, about a half a cup of granulated sugar, good pinch of salt, mm. and a third of a cup of brown sugar. brown sugar. Now is that dark brown sugar or light? Dark brown sugar. Okay. I just like the color that it okay. makes. And we're gonna just blend this up and it doesn't have to be, you know, it can be as fine as sand or it can be So, so to be clear, you're, you're showing us how to make, this is how you make your... Yes. So we're gonna. So you're, you're revealing your secret. I am. <laughs> well, it's sort of it's sort of the way I make this, but we're going to make this topping okay. with about oh, half of, of the in. bag of the lemon crumbles. And we were just talking before we we went to air about some of the flavors you have that can be used for the the sweet, which yeah. are the lavender the lavender one and the lemon. And lavender is yes. very interesting to me because people would not associate lavender with food. So well, what is yeah, this like? Lavender is an herb. So for me, it's the bridge between sweet and savory. Mm. Uh, if you can use rosemary in a dish, you can pretty much almost use lavender Yeah. in the same way. Wow. So, and so you take that and you just take spread it on mixture, top? We take this mixture and we're going to spread it on top. And oh, beautiful. And pop be, that in the oven. Pop this in the oven at 350. And then it looks like this. 40 minutes. Looks like this beautiful masterpiece, which is still warm, by the way. Yes. So I'm, I'm excited to try it in just a Great. second here. But tell us about this fair that you are, are going to be a part Leanne of. Leanne and Lulu has uh, puts on events like this on a routine basis. I've been part of three of them, and mm -hmm. this has been phenomenal. There's an array of wonderful yeah. local vendors who have All of products them are local. available. Everybody's local. Yeah. Everything's Michigan made, uh, handcrafted. And we love it. We've had Leon and Lulu, and they always bring the most unique artisan products, uh, you know, to our viewers. Lots of people are familiar. I see Dave's Sweet Tooth over there. Dave's Sweet Tooth. We've got Street Eats. They've got a new mustard out, which is wow. amazing yes. with the cheddar pie crust crumbles. Yeah. By the way, so um, and so you're great variety. You're, you're going to be there, having you know samples for people to try the stuff, Absolutely. but also they can purchase it. I'm, yes. I'm sure there, yeah. which is the best part. We are so excited for you. Congratulations Thank you. Thank on this. Thank you so much. Fabulous business model. It's such a great idea. Thank you. So I glad appreciate you it. Share it with us today. All right. Made to Eat in Michigan. Again, 20 artisanal companies from across the state. It happens on Tuesday, 5 to 8 at Leon and Lulu, and that's in Clawson. We'll post all the details at WXYZ.com and we'll take a quick break. Thank you great. so much. Thank you.